For most of my career as a journalist, I've been somebody who writes about diseases, epidemics, and disasters. And what that usually means is that you're writing about things that are really scary. Ebola, smallpox, plague, anthrax. Those are the things that people like to read about. A few years ago, I started to be curious about diseases that are much more common. I started spending a lot of time in emergency rooms. I actually got a grant to spend overnight shifts in emergency rooms for a year. And I saw an enormous amount of MRSA, both people who were very slightly ill and people who were extraordinarily ill who'd come into the emergency room and be whisked immediately up to intensive care. MRSA is an acronym. Uh, it stands for Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. It's the name of a bacterium, and there's a lot of information in that acronym. Staphylococcus aureus is one of the most common bacteria on the planet, and we walk around all the time with it on our skin and in our nostrils. Most of the time it doesn't bother us, but if you have a break in your skin, if you're not well, if you are taking a lot of chemotherapy in the hospital, it can really attack you. Methicillin resistance refers to the very large family of drugs that staff has learned to protect itself against. Methicillin itself is a drug that goes back to the 1960s, but it gave its name to a huge family of drugs. Most of the drugs that most doctors use every day in their practices and in hospitals. So when we say methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, what we're really talking about is a bacterium that's very common, that walks around with very, very many numbers of people, and that is indifferent to almost all the drugs we use in medicine every day. A couple of years ago, MRSA started to behave in a dramatically different way. And the way it unfolded was really like a detective story. There was a toddler in the Netherlands who showed up with this bug. She was going in for an operation and they tested her and they found it. But it was a little bit different than the MRSA that we see here. Well, her parents were pig farmers. So they tested the family, they tested other farmers whom the family know, and they tested the pigs and they found it in pigs. It was a new form of MRSA that was being carried by pigs. And the reason that it's there, it's very clear in the genetic evidence, is because these pigs, just like pigs in the United States and all around the world, are getting lots of antibiotics as their bread. And so this bug that had wandered into pigs was now becoming resistant to antibiotics that the pigs get, which also happen to be antibiotics that are used a lot in humans. That first finding turned out to be really significant because they found that bug now in pigs, not just in the Netherlands, but all across the European Union, and now it's been found in pigs in Canada, and now in the United States as well. So it's really clearly moving across the world.